Yeah, I want to put out a little like warning video on like a lot of the uh, health videos I put out or whatever it is. And it's not really a warning video because when I actually put them out, these videos, um, I'll state that, you know, this could be the future technology or it could be, um, you know, used as a supplement to, you know, your doctor's care. Or that, you know, in a case that there's absolutely no medical care available and there's absolutely nothing you could do, try this. You know, it's act, and, and I point to where I got the information from because I'm not a medical professional. You know, I wouldn't want, you know, I never present it in this fashion that um, to do what I say in lieu of other medical advice, that's for sure. I just, you know, point to what I researched and what I d done myself and I didn't see where it did any harm. But there's a lot more I'm not actually telling. <laughs> um, I personally think there's a lot more powerful stuff out there that's hidden. And uh, do your own research. I'm just going to say that, you know. There's like, you know, I pointed out stuff about, you know, a souped up zapper or whatever you want to call it, the frequency generator. Um, and, you know, I think somebody asked the question, is that the same as the Beck device no because it's a different type of voltage and stuff but you know I guess if you're running that device around 4 hertz it's probably going to be pretty close you know one of the things that the Beck device supposedly is uh, pretty good on is malaria um, cancer which is a bloodborne disease not cancer uh, it's a bloodborne disease and that's zapping the blood um, you know I don't want to piss anybody off, but, you know, I know there's a lot of fans of Beck, and I think those things are good, you know, I think they're well worth the money. I mean, you buy the Zapper, I don't know if he made a mistake, I sometimes I wonder how this guy could have made a mistake like that, but uh, when he cured himself of cancer, I'm suspecting that he used some, he used high-end Rife machines or some guard, I am suspecting that. That's just my own personal supposition, but I don't know. Because if you relied on a Beck Zapper to cure your cancer, you, <laughs> you know, it could be helpful. And, you know, I always would recommend, you know, get one of the devices from Bioelectric because say you're going to your doctor and you want to use the Zapper. If you set the device, the Bioelectric Genuine Beck device on 40 hertz, uh, you can see your doctor and there's no interference with using meds. If you set it, on, it can be set on four hertz, also the way Beck had it. But if you do that, then you got to watch with the med, the medicines. You know, Beck said don't take any meds, which I think was pretty bad advice. But you know, he's not a doctor. But I, I don't know. I'm getting a little suspicious of this the whole deal with him. But um, with Rife, there's a lot of snake oil out there. I didn't mention like there's all these different things like that he used. Uh, carrier frequency supposedly and I think there's people out there that kind of know what he did but then again there's more there's a lot of snake oil out there I mentioned about if you go to some person that's an alternative med to try to cure your cancer that the conventional people didn't do uh, my advice financially is this uh, to put the money in an escrow that's that's kind of how I would advise somebody to handle that and then you know, if he cures your cancer and a medical doctor says he cures your cancer, he gets a certain percentage of the money. You know, then next year if a medical doctor looks and your cancer is in there, then he gets a more he gets you know, maybe fifty percent of it then, you know, and then maybe twenty five percent a couple of years from now as so you can figure, you know, it was a legitimate treatment, you know, at least even if it worked only for several years, you know, it's still well, whatever you decide to do. But something like that kind of forces these people not to rip you off. So I'd say that, you know. Rife, he used uh, radio waves to bring frequencies into the body. You know, they can penetrate the body. So if you had this frequency that can kill a parasite, you know, so theoretically, um, you can kill parasites like 50 feet away, all right? And they have stuff like that now. But I noticed, like, the files... You know, the other thing is, too, if you play around with this stuff, you'd have to go to a medical professional to, 
that uh, if you're diagnosed what you have you have a cancer or whatever the hell it is right so um you know you'd have to know exactly what kind of cancer you have because like rife had i think uh 21 27 was uh like the general cancer frequency it wasn't exactly that he mixed some frequencies i think to get to that frequency or something you know as an overall frequency then he used a carrier frequency with it um and I don't understand all this stuff, but then it was also 2127.5, and then sometimes it was 10 times that, 21,750, with the carrier frequency. So, I am not saying everything on here, okay? <laughs> because I think people even post stuff on the web, they're like scared to post it on the web because of stuff, you know? I, I just kind of threw a bone out there about, you know, some of the things that can have possibly happen. In the future, this is pro it should be, the, the future should be here right now. I know that. But, and so, you know, I was not getting into a great amount of detail as to exactly what I think I know. Alright, so, anyway. Um, but the information is there for the diligent. So, but, you know, just to protect people financially because I'm not, you know, freaking selling any medical stuff or gizmos or anything like that. But just to give you some advice to protect people financially, one of the biggest problems is people pay big bucks to people and then they still die. Right? That's one of the worst things going. Uh do it through an escrow. Make sure that guy doesn't get a penny till you see some kind of results. And then you probably best doing it in steps. You know, you get some now when you see results, then a year later, if the results are still solid, as verified by the medical doctor, then maybe you get, you know, the bulk of it, then you'll leave a, a reserve after that, that, you know, you check it maybe in a year later and see if it's, you know, still good. Then he gets the rest of the money. So, you know, that'll protect you pretty well financially. But there is a lot of information out there um, on healing. You have to do, re you're not going to find... I put out some stuff that cannot be found on YouTube, probably. Not at all. And I put it out in a way... I, some of the stuff I put out was uh, very harmless. You know, I gave an example of, like, you know, how theoretically they would treat um, athlete's foot. And, I, you know, I pointed to, like, a cheaper device. It was 400 bucks, the whole kit and everything like that. And actually, you can get them cheaper than that. But, you know... <laughs> There's ways you can get everything cheaper, but I am not going into too much detail on it. I threw out a some tidbits, but um, take that and do your own research. If you have a medical problem, um, I'm not going to be able to answer anything on email because first off, I'm not a medical person. I mean, read a lot. I might I might be pretty much on you know on the ball with some ideas, but can't be doing that stuff man not at all so but um, the information's out there because if I can find it that means other people can find it and it's good to share information it's and it's all legal to share information but you know if you start <laughs> sharing too too much it almost gets a little you know where you're going over the edge so I always try to keep it on a safe side of the fence so you know so when I threw some stuff out here on YouTube that nobody else, I don't think anybody else put out what I put out, you know, in that in the fashion I did, especially in an easy to understand, common sense manner about some of these things. But uh, you know, if you look at that stuff, I did not say everything. There's a lot more to it, and uh, the future is here today. Let me sum it up. And I'm talking about the future of medicine someday. This will all be done this way. The future of medicine is actually here today.